How is everybody doing today? My name is Master Zero, and welcome back to another reaction video. This time we're reacting to The Paradox of an Infinite Universe by In A Nutshell. Alright, so before this video actually commences, I have two new singles, and I really hope y'all guys uh, listen to it. I was gonna say react for some reason. <laughs> Y'all guys, give them a little listen, and if you really want, uh, if you like them, follow me on Spotify and stuff. I'm still learning all the ins and outs of how that goes, but I think it's follow. So, like, onto this, man. I'm just really excited to get this video going because, one, it's in a nutshell. I mean, in a nutshell is always going to have bangers, and two, it's about space. And not only space, but, like, the ever-expanding, like, just the infiniteness of the universe that is, like, out there surrounding us, you know? And that alone, like, fills me with so much, like, it just makes me so intrigued man because like it's literally about the possibilities of what's out there you know like the mystery of the unknown you know like it's just there could be aliens there could not be and both are very equally terrifying is what that quote of paraphrasing but like onto this man i'm just really really excited to get this going it should be really really enjoyable and i thought it was going to be like infinite universes like you know the I don't know what they're called, the freaking paradox and all that, the butterfly effect and all that, you know, I was kind of hoping it would be that, but even regardless, dude, it's about space, I'm gonna love it, so without any further ado, here is the paradox of an infinite universe. I already love the animation, man. Uh, is uh, the universe we infinite? don't need to read that. <laughs> Does it have an edge? And if so, what would you see oh, if you went there? I already blew my mind. Today, We're already at the edge. The universe had a beginning 14 billion years ago, yeah, and it has been expanding ever since. Oh, that is beautiful. But something that's expanding Ooh. should also have an edge, right? Well, you it think. sort of does. Information can't travel I think travel this is where the paradox is coming from. Let's go. That means that we can only uh, see parts sperm. of the universe whose light How has had time to us in the last 14 billion years. When we look outwards, what we see is Pretty a sphere centered on us. The observable universe. Uh -huh. but it gets I like that. More We're literally the center of it. Because the universe has been expanding, oh. we know that the most far away things whose light we can see are actually 45 billion light years from us right now. Uh -huh. So the observable universe is a sphere with a I radius of 45 numbers. billion light years. It contains around 200 billion galaxies, each with hundreds oh, of man. billions of stars. The visuals in this is like so top for notch. Us, there is an edge. I have to comment We're about looking that. at the past oh. until there is just no past left. This edge is really more like an edge in time and, in a sense, meaningless. Uh, I'm sorry? The real universe is for sure bigger than what we can see. Oh. But how much? Go men in black marbles? There are two options. A snake? Either the universe is really big but finite, or it's truly infinite. A there finite be universe no other. means that Just those two. if you want to fill it with ice cream, you can hey. do it. You need a lot okay. of ice cream, uh, but it is nah, a finite not amount. Not that much. But that leads to a weird problem. Such a universe should have an edge, a cosmic wall where space you ends. Think, right? Like and he said, it's expanding. Edge, there should be something outside that edge. Oh, but the invisible universe, wall. by definition, <laughs> is all there is. So. How could there be stuff outside all there is? Hyperbolic time chamber. Does the idea of something oh outside of everything even this make sense? perspective is melting my brain, dude. Except, of course, there is a physics hack. Oh. You can have a universe that has no border, but that still could be filled with a finite amount of ice cream. What if the universe is truly finite? Imagine an orange and a really tiny ant. Hey, the back. ant can only see a small Going back to the piece ants? of the skin just as you can only see a small chunk of the universe. God, but man, how he explains walking, things is it perfect. It would walk around the whole orange and be back to its starting point. Hey, oh, good so job, man. So the skin of an orange is King not Kai's infinite, planet. but it doesn't have a border. The universe is not like the skin of an orange, but it could be very similar. Instead of a sphere, it could be a hypersphere, where 3D space is curled on itself. We're getting technical. Which is important for your brain to visualize, uh, unfortunately. I'm not going to try. Is, no borders, no outside of the hypersphere. From our human perspective, I'm trying to understand it, man. Space is like the peel of the orange. If you were aboard a spaceship flying in a straight line, you would eventually come back to Earth. How does any of this eventually. make sense? Eventually. But the actual physics what are these? is hard, so okay. we have to simplify and lie a bit here. Okay, um, but in a nutshell, my question. it all boils down to gravity. Oh, the way I... it is that mass creates you gravity would think that's by a bending space time. This bending is the strongest where the mass is, but sort of stretches I mean, yeah. on forever, like a very mild mass tension in the fabric of space time itself. Big mass. This could bend the whole universe in a way where it bends back on itself, which oh. then makes the hypersphere. If you find this confusing, we're with you. Uh, my brain's probably if like that right now. If the universe happens to be a hypersphere, how could we find out how big it is? 
On Earth, we can see things. Can we even comprehend it? Like he was saying, and that helps twice. Us calculate how big the Earth is. Yeah. Scientists tried to find some sort it's of globe, universe people. horizon that would Not reveal flat. the scale of the cosmic sphere, but didn't see anything. Oh. Which means that if the universe is a hypersphere, it needs to be so big that from our perspective, it looks like we're living on a flat surface. For this to make sense, Dude. a hyperspherical universe should be at least 1,000 times bigger than our observable part. Oh, it could be a what you doing, buddy? Oh, all we know, but not smaller than that. And the Grinch's heart Some grew three times all of that this day. Is way too straightforward, and came up with a wilder option. The okay. universe could be like the frosting of a donut. A hyper. I thought that was a joke. Possible to visualize for your brain. This Every time it cuts out to the freaking bird's line, perspective, which is like, yeah, that's my brain right now. It, but with fun complications. Oh. In a hyper Do universe, tell. there's not the same amount of stuff in every direction. If two spaceships fly in different directions, one could get back to the start way earlier. That's very this true. Also means that light from faraway galaxies would do fun and confusing stuff in a sort of oh, cosmic kaleidoscope. Effect. I didn't get it in that other video, but I got this one. But not just that, we would see it in different moments in time. I remember this. Because it's light, oh, would have taken stop much it. longer to travel in one direction than the other. You could see a star being born in front of you, <laughs> and see and that also same star die, die on the opposite side of the sky. How big would such a hyper donut be? We're getting into, be? like, Dr. Manhattan well, time stuff. I understand why you did the video geometry. before this. Actually, this is kind of the smallest possible universe. Potentially just a few times bigger than the observable universe. Uh, but it could okay. also be way, way bigger. We don't know. Okay. Why even so try to comprehend universes. it at this point, man? But what if it's truly infinite and space goes on forever? Now we're getting to the second option. What would that be like? Uh, this? What if the infinite? universe is truly infinite? In the words of Buzz Lightyear, Actually, to infinity the and beyond. The model used by most scientists describes an infinite universe. We mostly use it to yeah. calculate what From happens what I've inside gathered, it just our keeps observable growing. chunk, but if taken literally, it predicts an infinite universe. An infinite I know I said it before, man. I cannot get well, over the visualization. Forever, with no border anywhere. Also, Animation's impossible to visualize. Beautiful, man. Wherever you look, you'll find more and more stuff in every possible direction. Oh, that's so cool. This kind of breaks oh. our brain a bit for yeah. a few reasons. First of all, if the universe is Barely infinite, scratching the is surface of understanding. Eternal and has been there forever. Was there a time when there was nothing everywhere, and then there was something everywhere? Big Bang, right? Well, we don't know. But we have a lot of evidence for the Big Bang, so it really seems like the universe started at some point in the past. But wait, I believe since like the Big Bang, the universe religion and expanding. science. Like, why can't it coexist? Can like, a infinite a thing that's everywhere being like a god figure made the Big Bang. You know, cosmic expansion just means that the distance it's between galaxies mean. is growing with time. Even an infinite space can become. Hey, bigger. there's the snake bird again. Welcome to the paradoxes of infinity. Oh. Infinity gets when you say welcome like that, though. it's like we're just cracking the surface. As you travel with your spaceship in a straight line, you find new galaxies, stars, and planets, new yeah, like wonders, no Man's Sky. new weird stuff, I've been probably there. new aliens, hey. and new life forms stranger than you I'm can sorry, ever Rick and Morty references? But after a long time, Show you me might what find you've the most got. special thing in the universe. Yourself. Me? Oh, I was joking! A copy of you watching this video <laughs> what is right happening? How can oh, that the paradox is real! Well, Grogu, everything baby in existence Yoda. is made of a finite amount like... of different particles. And a finite number of different particles That'd be can be combined if you play with in yourself? a finite number Badass. of ways. Legos. That number may We're be so large that like it this feels video. like infinity to our brains, but it's not really. If you have finite options to build things, but infinite space that is full of things in all directions forever, then it makes sense that by pure chance, there will likely be repetition. Eventually, Although, just because though, something is possible, doesn't mean it will actually yeah. happen. Maybe the universe goes on forever, but only the boring stuff repeats itself Man. endlessly. Like an Maybe open world, really people have no idea how to make you. an open world. But if the laws of physics just are like the same everywhere, nothing. then far, far away, gas could have given birth to stars My and planets, man. where primitive genetic Stop information with the animation. and chemistry, which might have ended up in cells and animals that evolved in really unlikely ways, and eventually apes that learn how to create oh. online <laughs> videos. It happened at least once, so the Literally chance helping is not the source. Oh. Even if the chance not of there being an exact oh. copy of you watching this video right now is almost zero, almost, almost zero is though. still a huge number in an infinite universe. Ah. Unfortunately, you'll never so you meet, broke my in there, but that was almost way a long zero time ago. still means the chance is incredibly small. Earth, as it exists right now, is so unlikely, There's you'd have to travel chance. incredibly like far Bruce Wayne to find and Batman a second Superman. Earth. Some 10 to the 10 to the 29 
a one followed by 100 octillion zeros Show me times the, zeros. the size of the observable universe. So far that it kind of means forever far away. Yeah, just a little Still, bit. In a truly infinite universe, every combination of particles could reasonably not just occur only once, but an infinite Oh my god! Times. So there actually might be an infinite amount of copies of yourself. All of them are living within their own observable universe. All of them that living is in the sky. Dumb, never able so it kind of ties into what I was talking about at the very the beginning with so the far apart. Loki. Maybe some of the time paradox and all that decisions. parallel universes with different people took different forks in life. Maybe one of them has solved physics. Maybe another one is living your exact life, but is wearing a funny hat. I'm down. But if there are so many Can I have that hat though? Copies of you, identical to you. Ooh. Who are you? Uh, <laughs> well, the it brain matter breaking one. Because you are as real as real beings get. If you exist infinite times, or if you exist once. <sighs> it's time to stop now. Thank you. While these scenarios are possible on paper, we've entered science philosophy here. Yeah, I Currently, was about to say, man, this is some trippy shit. If the universe is infinite, oh, fascinating, we though. will never know. The reality I'm okay is, with that, though, in us, all honesty. The universe is finite and has an edge. And we can see the edge. For the us. edge in time. Oh, Everything we can interact that. with is within the observable universe. Spider-Man edge of time. most likely, this will stay true forever. Even if this finite universe feels small oh, to you, go it's ship. more than big enough to fulfill it's all the dreams you. that we and our descendants can ever come up with. Oh, stop with the visual, all of us. visual I can't even say it anymore. Animation. While we can't be sure whether the universe really? is infinite, many fascinating questions do have definitive answers Let in me science, see it. maths, and technology. Sir, and I really you can love learn this all about advertisement on Brilliant.org. Let's go. Brilliant That's will a make you a the bottle. That, that doesn't count. problem solver with thousands of hands-on lessons. Dude, on just stop about with the freaking animation in this about. one, man! They recently they like cranked it up to an eleven for this. Courses that use real I mean, the topic is like to powerful stories very interesting. while training your brain to see trends through the chaos of truly massive data sets. Love that. You'll answer practical questions like how to maximize revenue. That's what I love, like Airbnb, the practicality, you know, like schools and stuff, they have like textbooks and stuff, and you can't like galaxies show that in the actual the real world, cosmos, you know? I feel a little bit cursed to get, like the bite-sized pieces and stuff, and brilliant, you know? <laughs> Literally talking about brilliant. We've also partnered with Brilliant to create a series of lessons to take your scientific They're knowledge to the, the same next now. level. These lessons Bye. let you further explore the topics in our bug. most popular videos, bug. from rabies and mammalian metabolism to climate you, science you and now, Each lesson on Brilliant is interactive, like a one-on-one version of a That's Kotsky beautiful, video. man. That's so and cool. you can get started whenever, Keep wherever. doing what you're doing, like Brilliant. whatever device you'd like. I respect you. To get hands-on with Kotsky's art lessons and explore everything Brilliant has to offer, you can start your free 30-day trial on time by signing that. up at brilliant.org slash nutshell. Not There's sure. even an extra perk for Kurzgesagt viewers. The first 200 people to use the link get 20% off an annual membership once their annual. trial ends. Love that. The next limited edition oh. pin in our oh. existential oh. dread collection is here. I love these. This time, it contains the end of the universe. Oh, yes, please. Oh, no. The lights are going out in the night sky. What's happening? Quick, to the observatory. We oh. need to find out what's going on. Not those rings. When we look into the night sky, we can see all the way back to the, the Black Big hole? Bang. Let's turn this Ooh. telescope around and look into our future. It's true. You can see the universe expanding, galaxies drifting apart, and stars dying. Couldn't have explained it like this in the video. <laughs> in the end, nothing I kid, will I remain. Kid. Total darkness. I was correct. It turns out that we're actually living at the perfect moment in time. I somehow the got goosebumps from this. Formation, They're just selling still pills. so much out there to admire and explore. It is Let's really amazing, though. Mind-boggling, yeah, if you them. will. And wear this pin as a reminder that you're exactly oh, where you belong in cosmic time heavenly, and in the if universe. You will. Pre-order of this very special limited edition pin is available for only 72 hours. So order now before okay. it will be claimed by eternal darkness. The next limited edition pin Quite literally. will be revealed soon. Not Can't only wait, does this pin These are amazing. Like a precious piece of jewelry, it's it a is. pretty baller. It's truly invaluable to us here at Kotzkazart. Every Aww. single purchase unlocks another moment we get to spend creating and perfecting our videos. Let's go, man. We want to inspire people all around the world. Inspire away. I'll gladly support you guys. Who will look up at anyway, the I sky in wonder, I got my bird. curious to learn more about it. Thank you so, so much for your support. Thank you for making it, man. <laughs> and then never again. Could word it a little different. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> All right, man, fantastic. Even though, like, 
my brain literally could not comprehend what he was talking about, especially when they went into like the 4D thing going on, you know, like, I don't even know what to call it, but the donut thing, like, that's always, like, every time I see one of those, like, I always go back to, well, it's a donut, so I'm gonna call it a donut. <laughs> that's usually how my nicknames go in, like, videos and stuff. But anyway, man, this, this was phenomenal, dude. It really made you think. And, like, even with, like, stuff that, like I said, like, it just, like, melts your brain as you're trying to comprehend it. Like, I'm not even gonna sit here and, like, pretend, oh, yes, I understand everything about this topic. Like, no, I understood, like, maybe not even the surface level, man. Like, and I know I say that in a couple of videos, but, like, the topics are, like, they're so freaking fascinating and they grip you with the information that like we I'm gonna say pretend to know because like this stuff is wacky on like a totally different level man like this technically is borderline science fiction you know like sci-fi in a way but it, it still could be real you know like there's a possibility that it could be any one of these scenarios you know even though there was just two in this but like the way they explained it dude it was phenomenal like the animation in this was breathtaking like every single frame it was like like I said at the when they were selling the pins like that was like heavenly with the music and stuff but pretty much the entire video was like that like it had that like sensation of just like awe inspiring the entire time you know and like every time it showed the bird snake thing like especially when it was like under another layer like under the water for example you know like that was just so beautiful to watch and like just the narration like the narrator's soothing voice the entire time like trying to like help you comprehend the best way possible even though this topic is just like i said man it's a doozy dude it is freaking wacky but that that's what i love about it like just space in general man like the unknowingness is what's freaking amazing about it you know like i stated at the very beginning of this video like i cannot get enough of that and like once we slowly start like revealing information and stuff that we had questions on before it opens up like totally different things and discussions and topics that we could like talk about and everything and like it could like totally think like what we think the universe is could flip us on our heads and stuff and like we have to think totally different about what the universe is like with new information coming out so like it's not set in stone and like he was talking about like all of this stuff is pretty much like assuming like a lot of stuff you know so take it with a grain of salt but still like the way they make you feel you know like when you're watching this it makes you at least for me this is all obviously my opinions but like it just makes you feel so giddy and like you want to learn more about the topic that the topic is suggesting in the video you know it's just it's just amazing and i babbled way too much in here so i'm gonna end it but man i cannot get enough like in all honesty like these these are some of my favorite videos especially the science one they're my all-time favorite science video sorry but not a science guy but it's true <laughs> so thank you everybody so much for watching leave a like down below subscribe ring the bell become a member you get videos a day early and check out the merch so with that said i have been master zero y'all guys have been fantastic and i'll see y'all in the next episode later days